Now this is the, the midge poop I'm going to be dying. This is uh, basically called a campo uh, buzzer. This this is one I tie I tie many a time, especially for Ireland. Now there's, there's a lighter version of tie as well. This is this one's tied with a, a golden olive or dyed with a golden olive dye. And this one is a uh, it looks a light olive, but it's actually a brown olive dye, but very little of the dye, just to get the lighter colour. So there's a couple of variants of that fly. Now, simple to tie. Now the hook choice is the fulling mill. This is a competition heavyweight. It's a size 10. 10s and 12s are good. Uh, you're looking a UTC thread, a flat thread. This is a 70, which is... There's a 140, which is slightly heavier. It's obviously double the thickness. Uh, some people like to use it. I do at times, but it's... Uh, the 70 is fine. Now just by a layer of thread down the shank and then remove the waste. Now for the body I'm using the just to show you this is a peacock eye. Just turn it around. It's dyed the it's a it's a golden olive. Uh, you can see the colour there. But I'm using the the, f the bottom of the feather. The the they're looking for the quills further down. These are darker. But there's a slight mark on them. Uh, you probably just see it there, uh, sort of what stripped away the hair. Oh, it's, I just use a rubber, uh, rubber to strip away these because they're very easy to do. You just rub it against the fibre and it comes away. Now I'm going to tie or rub the body with this. Now you can catch the full length of the body, which is about three quarters the hook. Now run up. Now I'm going to come back down. I want to taper, so come back. Quarters of the way back down and come back up just to get a nice taper in the body. See, so we rub the fly with this, just rub the body right there, catch it in, just continue up to the eye and break this off. Now, I've dyed some, this is uh, the goose by it. And the golden olive as well. So you bring out two of them. Just need two. Bring them 90 degrees from the stem or the. Basically, it's the wing. This here, so it's been stripped off. So we get two of the, the the goose bites. Once they're lined up, I usually like I want it a wee bit thicker, so I trim away the tips. Tie them in both together. On the way back down here. So I'll just offer them on the sides of the thorax and wind to the this point here, just the length of the thorax. Just check to see where they're sitting. You'll probably find they'll come underneath slightly. And then we just build up the thorax. Take a thread to the, the eye. Just again building it up with a thread. These 140 would be quicker, but I'm quite happy using the, the, the finer thread. Now I'm going to come down, not all the way length along the thorax, just short of where I've tied in the, the bites, and then we tie in the Opal Mirage. So I'll put an Opal Mirage tinsel in a medium. Catch this in on top. I'm just going to wind to the eye, come back up. Again, I'm thinking of building this up. You can see where I've got it in. We're happy. We can then now just put a wee half inch in here. This basically stops the, the thread bouncing off. I've got a fibre there, I want to take that away. So we bring the, the bias forward, catch them on the sides. Well, just a turn, bring over your thorax cover, I'm going to show you this. Just get it to sit. Just a couple of turns, fold it back, and then we just hold the head up, tear away the, the bites, it's so easy to do, and then we can let it finish. And basically, that's how quick you can tie these. Trim away your thread, 
and trim away. They do a way to varnish them, or to actually super glue and then varnish with the old way and build up a couple of coats of varnish. Obviously there's a few resins around that speeds this up. The one I prefer is the bug bond and this is the, the original light. Uh, all I do is just put some resin on the top, not much. It's fine. Just sit it on top of the thorax. And then rotate the vise, coating the, the fly with the resin. Switch the thorax first and then I use the needle to scrape it towards the back. I don't want to overdo it. Just coat the fly, get the shape. You don't want to lose the shape too much. And just get it to sit the way you want. It's a good thing about the resins. And then we can set it. Top and bottom. It doesn't take long. Now, you've got to seal the resin. I prefer to do it, seal it. So, once it's set, just use a vineyard and clear varnish. So just a clear varnish, using the brush to apply it. Just rotate it around the thorax and then onto the body. And a wee drop onto the, the bend of the hook. Now what that does, that stops any, any water seeping into the dressing and turning the, or getting underneath the resin, or even the varnish, and turning it white. Now that seals it all in there we are. Yeah, I would let that dry and give it probably another thor another coat of varnish. Uh, not so much the body, more the thorax, and then that's the job done. And this is basically the type of fly you just end up with it, with it like that. Now, you can do them with breathers. It's again, it's up to yourself. This is a lighter version, just with some breathers on it. It's always worth having two and tying a couple of sizes. I say two main two sizes, tens and twelves. It's a nice part to have, and as I say, if you're going to the corb especially, it's a one to have in your box. And uh, I'm sure it's the day, usually. I think it's May time, April, maybe into May. Depends on the weather. You get the good hatches everywhere. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching.